to boldly go where no one has gone before. Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. I am once again in Star Trek Elite Force 2 to continue our playthrough. Once again, I don't know how much gameplay there is in front of me, how many more maps there are, if there's a final boss, all these things, I don't know. So if this ends up being the last video of the series, then stay tuned toward the end for a full review of the game and what I thought about it. But if this is not the last video, then there will be more. I just don't know, so I'm going to say that for pretty much every video until the final one. Because I don't know how much more gameplay we have. But anyway, today we are on a Klingon base and we are looking for Omag. We need to take Krindo to a bar and we're going to capture Omag. So this is a direction I did not see the game going, and is very cool. Big lizard man comes into my store. I say, what can I do for you? And all he does is hiss. Hiss? Well, sort of an articulated hissing like, This is the last of the... The Gorn. Then he hands me a card, and all it says is Gorn. Gorn. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Anyway, he keeps pointing to the disruptors like he wants one. I wouldn't give a freak like that any kind of a weapon. No kidding. I told him to go somewhere else. I won't deal with his kind. I hear you. Again, I love the little dialogues they have that we can walk up on. Yeah, that's Gorn. You know the Gorn. I want to just walk around real quick and um, see what's around here. I don't know if the enemies are going to be hostile in this area or not. Oh, look what I found, though. I already found a secret. That was cool. I do see on my radar what looks like a red blip. And there's a red blip over there. Are those those guys though? I don't know if that means if they're friendly or not. I mean, obviously they're not they're not shooting at me, so they can't be that mad at me. So I don't know if I need weapons or not. Well, actually, I can't deploy weapons. So actually, I can't deploy anything. Oh, that's interesting. Get lost, human! Okay, hostile much. This old star base has seen better days. I guess we're not going to be outright attacked. But we're probably not going to meet any friendly people. Hey there. If you are looking to make some fast latinum, I know a fellow who might be looking for some photon torpedoes. Photon torpedoes? Yeah, I can't deploy. I can't even deploy my tricorder. I can't do anything, so it's just a straight walk right I now. That the Ferengi Omag is looking for new clients. I wonder if he's in the VIP room. The Ferengi without honor. I will not trade. VIP room, Some of my huh? best deals have been with Ferengi. Excuse me. If you want to live, you will step away from me, human. How is he to know they came from a damaged Packland freighter? Or the time Omag sold you the Ferenginar bridge? Eh, I guess you're right. I never really thought about it that way. Of course I am right. You are an ignorant... I don't have time right now. Just because you're from the Federation doesn't mean I won't kill you. And now that voice, also familiar. Do all the Klingons just uh, use the same actor? Greetings. Try the guy. It is delicious. The blood is clotted, which adds a refreshingly metallic tang. I guess they just use the same actor for all the Klingons. A practice space? Wait a minute. You're not thinking of my Oh, look what I found. Oh, come on. Think of the 
I wonder why these were like that was like that. Yeah, that was a secret. You couldn't handle me. Ooh. Stop staring at me. Ah, this must be the bar. Ooh. We got dancers and everything. Apparently the uh, Andorians are very angry in this one. <laughs> you know, their aged Romulan ale is just the standard Romulan ale they don't sell right away. Every couple of years they pump a bunch of it out of storage, they change the label on the bottle and they sell it for twice the price. Really? That's terrible. It's true. And what's more, it's not all a century old. Some of it's from 150-year-old batches, others from 50-year-old batches. They just mix it all together and they kind of average it out. What a ripoff. Yeah, really. We need another you round of Romulan Sentry me. over here. Oh, we got a contact. How much to get into the VIP room? Ha! You have to prove your worth. You'll have to beat our Nosikin friend in melee combat. Really? Okay, and I guess right here in the bar? Okay. You dare trifle with me, Federation? Die! Oh, here we go. Alright, I guess we're gonna have some melee combat the with, a, with a Nosikin. <laughs> Does block well. I think I beat him. <laughs> Those moves. Nice job. Here's the code to the VIP room. Come back when you want a job as a bouncer. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, too hard either. Cool. I'm the commander of the transport vessel Kaitan. My uh, friend here tells me you're looking for transportation? Yes, indeed. If it's a big vessel. Big vessel? The Kaitan is a Wudan class transport vessel. Should I know what that means? And let's just say, it's big. I've outhauled Romulan starships, not just the D cruisers either. I can carry more cargo than even the big Dideridex class ships. What's the cargo? Only myself, 10 transport containers of domesticated Targ, and no questions asked. What's your destination? Didn't I just say no questions asked? I'll provide you with the coordinates after we depart the station. 3,000 latinum in advance, or no deal. 3,000? We could almost buy a Klingon bird of prey for that. That's obvious, but I think where you're going, you'll need an experienced pilot. I'm sure for that money, we could buy a pilot, too. How about we give you 2,000 now, and another 2,000 when we reach our destination? 4,000 total? Hmm, I could do that. My ship is at your disposal, friend. We will have our cargo ready for transport in one hour. Let's see if we can get a drink before we leave. It might be hard to get Romulan ale where we are going. Make mine a double. Wow, that was like a long conversation, but... I mean, very cool environmental, you know, atmosphere by adding that in here. I love the diversity of, of this game, the places it's exploring and everything. I can't talk to them. I'm yeah. telling you, that guy is Ardrek Luxor. Now, why would a famous Ryzen musician be here? I don't know. Maybe he's searching for his next bold new look. Here? On a Klingon starbase? Right. I'll bet he's planning to launch a new fashion trend. Mercenary chic. Fine. I'll bet you 50 latinum that that guy over there is Ardrek Luxor. 50 latinum? You don't have 50 latinum to your name. If you did, you'd be in the gaming hall right now. 
Look, I've got a shipment of Tholian figurines coming in tomorrow. That's worth at least 50 latinum. Figurines? What am I going to do with 50 latinum worth of Tholian figurines? I'm going to sell them to the Andorians. Then I'll have well more than 50 latinum. <laughs> and why would an Andorian mercenary want to buy Tholian figurines? They don't get them for themselves. They get them as gifts for their wives. They like to display them in cases in their family communal area. Ah, I think I've been inside one of those dwellings. It was truly repulsive. Their women are almost addicted to these things. No matter how many they possess, every time a new type comes out, they immediately desire to obtain it to add to their menagerie. Fine. I'll wager you 50 latinum that this is not Ardrek Luxor. And you'd better not try to pay it off with those hideous figurines. Deal. Now let's go ask him. Okay, where is he? Over the... Where'd he go? I think he left. That's too bad. I was going to see if he wanted to buy some Tholian figurines. <laughs> I think they're jabbing at Star Trek fans, or any fandom, I guess you could say. Who likes to, you know, gather figurines and things like that. And then when the new one comes out, you have to be at the first of the line to get one and those sort of things. I think they're jabbing at that kind of fandom. That's funny, though. I've seen Denebian slime devils with better looks than you. Okay. There he is. Walk over to him without looking back at us. Ah, Crindo. Sit down, my friend. Where did you find this new master control facility? Where'd you find the old one? Goodbye. Yeah. Sit down, Omeg. Let's keep this friendly. Friendly? The bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. Ferengi Rules of Acquisition number 48. Sorry, never heard of this master control facility. Mm. Rule 7, keep your ears open. Where is the master control facility? Or Rule 60, keep your lies consistent. Hmm. I don't know which one to choose. Hmm. Rule 60? Rule 60. Keep your lies consistent. All right. You caught me in an inconsistency. So here's the truth. I don't know where the master control facility is. Rule 85. Never let the competition know what you're thinking. I don't intend to. And I've never heard of your master control facility. You lying Ferengi! Tell the truth, and they accuse you of lying. Just like Rule 285. No good deed ever goes unpunished. Hmm. How do we know you're telling the truth? Rule 81 says not even the dishonesty can tarnish the shine of profit or... You're telling the truth? There's nothing more dangerous than an honest businessman. Rule 27. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which one, I mean, which one is better. I really don't know. I'm just really guessing here. 50-50. Let's go with Rule 27. You're telling the truth? There's nothing more dangerous than an honest businessman. Rule 27. <laughs> then I'm too dangerous for you because I'm telling the truth. Hmm. Well, I guess all we can do is choose the first one now. How do we know you're telling the truth? Rule 181 says not even dishonesty can tarnish the shine of profit. Because I don't want to know where it is. If I knew the location of the Master Control Facility, my customer would be afraid I'd sell it again. Why give him incentive to kill me? No! I merely sold Crindo's data from those old ruins. 
and let my customer fiddle about with those star charts to actually find it. But I gave you false data. False data? Now who's the liar? Of course I lied. I'm too smart to trust you. But dumb enough to trust the shuttle I gave you. Rule 99. Trust is the biggest liability of all. Your shuttle transmitted all the real data to me. <laughs> you son of a... Rule 31. Never make fun of a Ferengi's mother. Insult something he cares about instead. I'll kill you. No, you won't. Omag, give us the name of your customer and you can go. Rule 76. Every once in a while, declare peace. But war is good for business. Rule 34. And here's another rule. Let's you and him fight. Latin uh. for Federation heads! Uh-oh. Now Gonzalez, we fight. Stay here with Crindo. Aye, sir. I'll clean up this mess. What are we fighting? Who are we fighting? Starfleet, huh? I'm not impressed. Follow Omag. Oh. oh. We're fighting Klingons, that's who we're fighting. Well, that is not working good at all. Let's switch weapons here. I like this one. If shooting that box did anything. They're really hitting me kind of hard. I need more health. See if this terminal will give me health again. Indeed it will. That's a big area. The Klingons really want to melee me. They want to come right up on me. In the world, uh, oh, it's one of those. Okay, they're they, they sneak up on you, and that is a heck of a weapon. Yeah, the Klingons want to melee you to death, and they come right up on you no matter what. does not open, huh? Oh, I see... I see a door up there. And I see a ladder. That makes sense. Looks like we're in a new area. Ooh, Federation scum, right behind me. They're here to arrest everyone. Stop them, and I will pay you well.
Nice. guys were crazy hard. I did see Omag over there, but I guess he left. Jump across. They're waiting for me. Can't anyone kill this Federation scum? Yeah! I thought this was supposed to be a tough stop. <laughs> yeah! Klingon was running away. He's like noping out of here. I need health. Look how low my health is. Health is really low right now. Going down, Mr. Federation. <laughs> Next level. I need help. Help! Help! Federation attackers! Slow down, Omag. Stop him! In the name of the Empire! I'm no longer a commander in the Klingon Empire. You still know how to shoot! Save me! I'm your best customer! Very well. Wow. They're gonna, we're, he's gonna let Omega get away. We're gonna have to fight this Uber Klingon, experienced Klingon, in some kind of what is it? 
some kind of mech. Okay, it is a mech. Oh, okay, that's wonderful. I'm then surrender to flame, Capet. I am coming for you, Uman. All right, what do we do? Okay, we got fire. We've got fire that comes out of the floor. wrong with this piece of Baktar? Well, I was hitting them pretty hard with that quantum Why are you torpedo. protecting that honorless Ferengi Capect? That is my business. Business is right. Klingons aren't supposed to fight for Latinum. Die! Oh, here we go again. Can you breathe in a vacuum, Tanya? You cannot escape the Udar, Uman. <laughs> Okay, oh, well, I'm dead. Whatever. I don't know what killed me or what that was, but holy crap, that was rough. Help! You will burn like a target in a pit. What's wrong with this piece of Baktar? Let's get Can you past breathe that. in a vacuum, Tahak? Then surrender to flame, Capet. Klingons don't fight for Latinum. You dare insult my up. Saw that Space one already. Is cold. You cannot run, woman.
Did I get him? Monroe to Enterprise. Oh, that was Old difficult. Has just left the station. Thank you, Lieutenant. We're moving to intercept his shuttle now. Report back to the Enterprise. Monroe to Sydney. Pick me up immediately. Coming right now. I don't really know what these control panels did. I just knew <laughs> to try to use Tetrion them. Tetrion Gatling gun. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what the consoles exactly did. One of them maybe turned off the fire. I didn't know what the other console did, but hey, I tried, and uh, ultimately I got him, but it did take a couple tries. That was definitely a hard boss enemy right there, no doubt about that. He kept opening different traps on me. Okay, I guess we're done with that base, but Oma got away, so then what's next, if that's true? I mean, where do we head now? Omag wiped the data banks. He purged all the information and filled all existing memory with random data. Without his data, we can't prove he knew the master control facility was a weapon of mass destruction. Then it looks like we'll have to release Omag. But he is an accessory to murder. We cannot hold him long under Federation law. Fortunately, there are other laws. Oh? The laws of acquisition. Sir, requesting permission to interrogate Omag. That is not part of your training. I think it will be out of order. Sir, I think I can do it. Very well. You realize, of course, that if you violate any Federation interrogation policies or bargain with Omag, then there will be strict penalties for your actions. In light of your recent performance, I will allow this to take place. Good luck, Lieutenant. Mm, okay. Giving me the benefit of the doubt. So I guess we have to interrogate Omag. I thought we didn't catch him. I guess we did catch him. Go to Brig. Deck 8, Brig. If I circle around long enough, I'll find the bridge. Hello, Omag. I demand you release me. Let's make a deal, Omag. Who's your customer? Sorry. Good customers are as rare as latinum. Treasure them. Rule number 57. Okay, I gotta beat him by the rules. I don't know what's the right option, though. What about the rule that says once you have their money, never give it back? What about the rule that says only a fool passes up a business opportunity? What about the rule that says, once you have their money, never give it back? Ha! You are right. I shall keep my client's money. And his secrets. No deal. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we have to choose a second option. What about the rule that says, only a fool passes up a business opportunity? True. But your opportunity conflicts with my last contract. 
See, a contract is a contract is a contract building between Ferengi or opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Yeah? Rule 9. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Well, my instincts tell me this is a lousy opportunity. I like my current contract. I guess I'm choosing the wrong options, aren't I? Rule 17. A contract is a contract is a contract, but only between Ferengi. Contracts with other races can be honored when the profits are high enough. So, your client is not a Ferengi. <sighs> well, I won't tell you who he is. Everything is for sale, even friendship. Rule 121. Everything is for sale, even friendship. If he were merely a friend, I'd rat him out right now. But he's a customer. New customers are like razorback reworms. They can be succulent, but sometimes they bite back. Rule 203. Hmm. So he's a new customer, and one you're afraid can find you. That makes him a powerful and deadly non-Ferengi with a starship. Or several. I never said that! I'm... I'm just not looking to expand into any new markets. Knowledge equals profit. Knowledge equals profit. Rule 74. Quite. So I'll keep my knowledge and my profits. Now stop asking. Nope, that wasn't the right one. <laughs> A wise man can... This is awesome. All right, this is straight from start. Well, I mean, it's obviously from other things, but rule 22, a wise man can hear a prophet in the wind. Uh, all you Star Trek Online people will know this one for sure. <laughs> rule 22, a wise man can hear prophet in the wind. Well, I'd rather be rich than wise. I won't tell no matter how often you ask me. But I guess that wasn't the right option. Rule 52, never ask when you can take. Don't threaten me. You're risking a court-martial. Rule 62. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. But what about your career? I'm on the hazard team. You think I'll ever reach retirement? Please. I'm just a kindly merchant who risked his hard-earned latinum to help some scientists. After they brought you priceless artifacts. Of course. You think I'd take a risk that's not a sure thing? And you sold their artifacts on the black market, where they would be lost to history. Exactly. That's what keeps the profits high. And they say you Federation types lack the lobes for business. Oh, I understand business very well. Well, since you understand business... Help me escape. And I'll give you a Class M colony planet with tropical beaches for your retirement. Uh, no. Omeg, I'm charging you with attempted bribery. This is entrapment! No Starfleet officer says he understands business unless he wants a bribe. Who was your customer? He'll send those monsters to kill me. They could destroy cities. Looks like you broke a vital law of acquisition when you sold something that could kill you. I did not. Rule 125, you can't make a deal if you're dead. Wrong. He agreed to never send them against a Ferengi planet. Ha! <laughs> I win. No, you just confessed. Omag, we're charging you as an accessory to mass murder. What? You knew you were selling a weapon of mass destruction. Your customer killed Atrexians on Praz Jag Gamma 3. You have their blood on your hands. <laughs> but I won't tell you who he is unless you drop the charges and release me. Very well. On a planet of my choosing? Of course not. We're not a shuttle service. We'll choose a planet convenient for us. I accept the bargain. He is a captain in the Romulan Imperial Navy. Romulans? What were you thinking? I know. Romulans are usually terribly cheap. 
Good work goading him into confessing, Lieutenant. I believe that would be Rule 87. Learn the customer's weaknesses so you can better take advantage of him. You think you won, Monroe? But you have to release me. And I never told you where to find his secret base. Ha! <laughs> he has a secret base? Ha 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 ha! Too late. So, where will you drop me off? Ferenginar? Risa? We will release you on the next planet to be attacked by exomorphs. No! You wouldn't! That way you can inspect the results of your profiteering. Those monsters don't value latinum. I'll be killed. Isn't it the Ferengi dream to die rich? You can't. Goodbye, Omag. His name is Commander Soldok. I'll give you coordinates to his base. It's located on the border of the neutral zone just inside Romulan space. Thank you, Omag. Nice doing business with you. Wow. I'll inform Starfleet of our new destination. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok will arrange a security briefing. What about me? You had better hope your information leads to the location of the Master Control Facility before the Exomorphs attack another planet. So the Romulans are involved. Can you believe that? You know the rules of acquisition well for a human. Corban to Monroe. Please join me in the armory. Ooh, do we have a new weapon to use? I'll definitely try that out. Plasma conduits needs a retrofit. I have studied the Tetrian gun the Klingon Lorak dropped. You can test it in a special training program on the holodeck. I would love to. Well, let's try this thing out. Ooh. It's like a Gatling gun kind of thing. Okay, I like. Oh, I like that. I'll take two. Heck of a weapon. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. That's a nice weapon. Almost as good as a Klingon! Tuvok to Monroe. Report to the brief. Those Klingons from that star base were not honorable. Uh, report to the briefing room. Yeah, I do like that. Hazard operations. I guess we'll be using that on our next mission. I guess which will be the master control facility. Starfleet has authorized a covert mission to the Romulan base. We will enter Romulan space using a special warp signature code we obtained from a Romulan informant. Lieutenant Monroe and Ensign Gonzalez will beam down to separate locations disguised as Romulans. You will both enter the facility using forged credentials and rendezvous inside. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok? Wow. Use your tricorder to track the informant's unique transponder signal. The informant will give you access to the secure data banks. Download the coordinates to the master control facility, then activate your comm beacons and we will instantly beam you out. Aye, sir. Please report to sickbay for surgical alteration. 
Wow. That's cool. We're taking on one of those I really love the shrimp pretend we're somebody else missions. Deck 8, sick bay. Sick bay, where are you? Your armory and your sick bay. Alterations, please. Do you need medical attention? Yes, I need alterations. Can I help you? Welcome to sick bay. Ready to become someone else? Let's get started. Mm, yeah. A Romulan. I can't believe now we're going to a Romulan colony. We're, I mean, we're just going all over the place in this game, and I love that. The one in the Delta Quadrant, we were very limited in that one area. That one area of space we were in. Okay, we're in a cave system. And we are by ourselves, too. Find the Romulan informant. Oh, got a Romulan tricorder. Oh, that's so cool. Let's holster it for now. I guess we look like a Romulan, so we don't have to worry too much. Excuse my night vision, that might help. Much easier to see the walkway. Where to go and where not to go. Yep, see I would have fallen straight down there if I hadn't used my night vision. So this is where night vision is really coming into play, that's cool. Finally got a chance to use it. See something definitely in there. Do I get access easily? Credentials. Of course, here. I see you transferring from Remus. Make sure you check with Sub Commander Cole. We've recently updated our security protocols and implemented bioscanners throughout the installation to detect for any alien presence. So that means... That means I need to switch to that mode. Bioscan mode. Okay, I'm guessing I've got to avoid... All right, I do. I, I've got to avoid these scanners, I bet. That would make sense. That one came close, but... I think I'm being attacked. Shoot, I was uh, I was detected by the scanner. It's a little hard to see where the lines of the scanner is just don't walk too fast ooh, ooh, darn it yeah, um, I'm hit again yeah, yeah. all right let's be a little more careful then
I saw it. It hit, it hit me. I got hit. I got hit. Yeah, failed. Even if you don't die, it still fails you. Okay, this is kind of difficult. That one comes here. They don't just go back and forth, they go in a circle pattern. That's the mistake I made. Made it through. me to do something I have no weapon I have no weapons on me I don't know what that did Kind of scary. I'm like in enemy territory, man. If they if they notice me, I'm dead. Hmm. Sector T. That was locked down days ago. It's unusual that you would be ordered there. Well, soldier, you appear to have your credentials in order. I'll upgrade your security clearance. Talk to the guards outside the security depot about getting into Sector T. Okay. I can barely feel my hands. The commander said no more complaining. He's not here, is he? I'm freezing. I don't want to hear it. It was really freezing last night, but you missed it. Complaining is bad for morale. You <laughs> missed it because you fell asleep. On duty, in the nice warm officer's quarters. Talk about bad for morale. I'm trying to listen for intruders. It's hard to hear intruders when you're asleep. <laughs> wow. I loved that banter. That was nice. I'm not going to try to go in any other doors because there's guards everywhere, so I should not try. Can I help you? Can I help you? Sector 1 access.
Now what? I guess I need to go to a different area. Oh, I see. Okay. So we've got a a funny looking thing. A that thing, a that thing. A that thing. And a that thing. Yes, I got it right. Looking for any bio things? Nope, no bio things. Nice trick. Personal area cloaking device. I'll take one. It'll make my job a lot easier. Sorry, I only have one prototype. It's new technology from the Tal Shiar. Your disguise is remarkable. Old technology from Starfleet. Where's my data? Inside the installation. So how do we get it? You will get it. I'm too important to risk my cover over this mission. Thanks a lot. So how do I get into the installation? The door leading into the installation is protected by a security code. You can find the code in a computer terminal in a nearby office. I've sent its location to your data pad. Sounds easy. It is. Once you get past the Romulans guarding the door. How do I do that? Here, take this. Create a diversion. Shooting the comm systems in the nearby communications room should distract the guards long enough to download the security code. That still doesn't get me the data. One thing at a time. I'll explain more to you once you get inside. If you get inside. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I was supposed to rendezvous with another member of my crew. Have you seen him yet? No, but I'll see if I can find him. I'll get in touch with you again inside. Well, that sounds complicated. So I need to set off a distraction so I can get into a place in case I fail this horribly. Let's make a save game place here. Where is the place that I need to shoot? So create a diversion in the communication center. I just don't know which one is the communication center. If it sounded like a whine, that would be one of the hounds. If it sounded like a whine, a few of them picked up a native stomach I guess the communication center is up here. Here goes nothing. Well, none of that is doing anything. Oh, and maybe I need to go in this room. No, that's not doing anything either. I definitely need to do something in here. But nothing is working. Let's see what the... Ah, comm equipment generator. that not do it? One more.
sure if I was supposed to get into a firefight, but guess what? I did. Good timing. The data you need is in a locked and guarded security chamber. Watch out for bioscanning lasers. They activate when they detect non-Romulans. You'll need to use your tricorder to see them. After you get the data, don't waste time waiting for your accomplice. He's been captured. What? Where is he? What difference does it make? He's not a mission priority. He's my priority. Where is he? You want me to risk my deep cover for one expendable? Yes. Very well. I'll see if I can locate him. Good thing that didn't screw everything up that I just did. What? This door wants to close on me. I didn't see that. There we go. How many hours did you bet? Twelve. Is that all? Starfleet training is legendary. I gave him at least 23 hours before he breaks. Not with the new Tal Shiar interrogation training. It only takes them about half a day to break Klingons. Klingons are stubborn. But Starfleet officers are a whole different breed. I've heard that Starfleet prisoners can break Cardassian torturers. I figure why not? <laughs> Definitely not getting through here without a firefight. But it is very cool design. I like the design. Anyway, I've got an access code to the equipment room.
I see the problem, there's that. I didn't see that and I walked right through it. I should have known. Crap, I walked through it again. that do? Yeah! Ah! Now what's in the storage area? I don't know what's supposed to be in here. Turn the alarm off. All right. It says gain access to the equipment room. That turned on the alarm, seriously? Nothing works. Maybe you have to have the alarm off for things to work. This is the door. Okay, we've got a funny looking nine. We've got a that. We got a funny looking this, and then a three, and like a seven. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to search for. Bio scans. Okay, this is obviously a night vision thing. So let's put that away. Go, okay, it's not a night vision thing. We're blinded by the light. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Maybe to that door? Is, is that even a door? Or is that a thing? No, that's not breaking. I'm gonna make a save game place because I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to go here and I fall to my death. There's obviously a platform there. I can't use night vision. But I think it looks like I'm supposed to go over there, right? Yes. Aha. 
I'm under the floor for some reason. Why I'm under the floor, I don't know. Under the floor. <laughs> That's somewhere to go, but what's this way? Nowhere? Okay, so I guess this is where we go. Can't see a thing. I pulled the duty again for calibrating the bioscanners out on the forward observation glacier. So? So Saldok plays favorites. Why else would I keep getting the same posting? Maybe you did something to deserve it. If you're not in his secret society, you don't get any of the good postings. Really? His spies are everywhere. It's not like you can't tell who's in his idiotic club. You can tell? They'll turn you in for the smallest infractions. Like insulting the commander? Exactly. Just like... Oh, no. Please, don't report me. Got him before they could enable the alarm. We can rescue Ensign Gonzalez. Problem is, I don't know where he's at. It says rescue him. But could he be back in one of these areas I was in previously? Let's go back and find out. Like this room, there were like all these doors that didn't open before. Would they open now? No? None of these doors open, so... We've been in that room. We just came from that room. All we can do is go this way, but... Bioscanners... Oh, they're off. Good. Do anything with that door. I found your accomplice. Come with me. Thank you. Oh, good. I'm okay. risking a lot for you. You'd better protect me. I'll input the code. I love this Romulan disruptor weapon. Good. All right. I guess we're gonna go rescue. Still rescue Ensign Gonzalez, yeah. The detention facility is nearby. Follow me. Following. Well, that is pretty nearby. What is this room? Oh. You're wasting your time. I told you, I don't know anything about increasing the output of the Idril technology. And I told you not to get captured. Monroe, she betrayed us. She's a counter-spy. And you are a prisoner of the Empty Crown. Not the Romulan Empire? Our secret society will become greater than the Empire. 
Oh, great. She's got a cloaking device. Well, that's not fair. She has a cloak. I guess there's no secret secret way to take her out. It's just all about... I wonder if I can see her with this. I actually can, I think. Alright, we gotta come down to her level. This is annoying. I do like the charge I can build up, though. Give up the secrets of the exomorphs, and I'll let you live. I love that charge. I can build up a charge. Missed her completely. Nice weapon. Neutron energy disruptor. Very powerful. Oh, she's down. I do like that cloaking device. That's cool. Good to see you. I should have known you wouldn't be captured unless she betrayed you. No problem. Now, let's get out of this frozen hellhole without saying goodbye to the host. You must be Commander Soldok. This frozen hellhole is your new home, Lieutenant until we gain all your knowledge about speeding up the Exomorph creation process. We can learn it politely, or painfully, but we will learn it. And the Romulans will learn about how your informant let us sounds find the location like, um, of the Master Control Facility and kill a lot of Romulans. Sounds you like mistake us for regular Romulans. We are not. We Shran. are the Order of the Empty Crown. Shran. It sounds and like that Shran. was not incompetence. It was part of our plan. You let Enterprise. us kill your troops? Are you crazy? There's an old Romulan expression. Snapping two necks with one squeeze. A large body count helps us justify a massive exomorph buildup. How? It will make key Romulan senators so afraid of a Federation first strike that they'll give the Empty Crown an endless supply of exomorphs. They know the Federation would never strike first. But you did. You attacked us here, unprovoked, as far as the Senate knows. And even our improved security failed to prevent it. The entire Romulan Star Empire will feel vulnerable again. Even paranoid. Willing to surrender some power to my Exomorphs. Huh. Create an artificial demand and then deliver a superfluous supply. Brilliant. Are you sure you're not a Ferengi? I have killed for lesser insults. My plan is purely Romulan. It's purely flawed. You let us find out where the Master Control Facility is. 
We fed you false coordinates. Prove it. As you wish. The coordinates we let you find lead to a system populated with cloaked mines. The minefield ensures that the false data will not escape, nor the ship or her crew. Now that is purely Romulan. Of course. No, the real master control facility is concealed deeper in the neutral zone. On a remote planet... Sir, I strongly recommend... Silence! We've jammed their transporters. They cannot leave. But... I suppose it's best not to reveal the real location. Take them away. Whoa. <laughs> We're Shoot doing them. the fight. Wow. How could they beam out? You told me you had jammed their transporters. Now that's a scream. <laughs> Jeez. That was a lot of twists and turns in that in that mission. A lot of twists and turns there. We learned so many new things. So many things happened here. That's quite a bit. I have to like take that in. Need some processing time. Report to sick bay for implant removal. Sick bay is, I keep forgetting, it's not on this level, no, it's, it's on the other level. Deck eight. I'm starting to learn the decks. Well, starting to figure out anyway what deck things are on. Not necessarily where things are on the deck, but at least what deck they're on. Right now, I'm looking for a turbo lift and I've gone completely around in circles. Trying to find one. Oh, am I already on the right level? Oh yeah, oh, no, I'm on the right level. Okay. That's armory and a sick bay. We'll remove those surgical implants immediately. I like the continuity that we had to actually go get him Lieutenant removed. Monroe, Captain Picard is waiting for you in the observation lounge. Okay, now where's that? That's not on this level. Deck one, bridge. Observation Lounge. The informant double-crossed us and Ensign Gonzalez perished as a result. That's Ensign right, Gonzalez made him. his choice with full knowledge of the potential consequences. You can't blame yourself. He made the ultimate sacrifice for what will save the lives of countless others. Dang, we're yes, losing sir. people though. After analyzing the data pad that we recovered, we learned the location of the Master Control Facility. It's on the planet Talachon 2. Bridge, set a course for Tolachon 2, maximum warp. Aye, sir. You've been in action since you arrived. I want you to take some time off at the earliest convenience. I can't expect my crew to work at maximum efficiency without an opportunity to unwind. Thank you, sir. I will. After Tolachon 2. Very well. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok will be conducting a debriefing with you at 1800 hours. Yes, sir. And, Lieutenant, good job down there. Dismissed. Thank you, sir. So, Gonzalez. Alex, can you meet died. me in stellar cartography? Who is this? Hi, Monroe. Can we talk? Oh, it's one of these and ors again. Meet with Telsia or Clea. But where was where's Telsia? She's not in stellar cartography, so I guess don't go to stellar cartography. We need to go to We need to go to Hazard Crew Quarters. Hazard Crew Quarters. You know who we're going to see. We're going to see Telsia.
we made our choice. And I like that we, we still get to have that choice. I miss Gonzalez. So do I. What a horrible, senseless way to die. He was a good officer. And a good man. Monroe? Yes? I'm glad that you made it out alive. We're headed for Talachan too, the command center of our Romulan friends. I'll make sure to let them know that the Hazard team doesn't appreciate losing one of its members. Good. We need to teach them a lesson. One they won't forget. Yeah. Ah, we got a hug! Oh my gosh. First hug. First hugs, then kisses. We have seen too many doomsday weapons, and too many warlike leaders eager to use them. But today we have a rare opportunity. The chance to destroy one. Clear? My people created the Exomorphs for easy labor, but soon realized they were the ultimate weapon. But Doomsday weapons often turn on their masters. The Exomorphs exterminated 95% of the Idro people. The few survivors fell into a dark age without science or literacy. Got the it. The Trexians finally destroyed the Exomorphs and thought they'd destroyed the facilities. But the facilities repaired themselves and waited to be reactivated. In revenge, the Atrexians covered up the truth about the Idril people and used them for cheap labor. I see. Just like the Idril used the Exomorphs. And just like the Exomorphs, the Idril turned on their masters when they reactivated the facilities. What was the weapon that the Exomorphs used to destroy the Idril? Intelligence. An exomorph called the Archaeopendra gained full sentience and oh took control. Oh my gosh, Archaeopendra. The master control facility is in the neutral zone. What about the Romulans? Best case, we destroy the facility quickly and leave undetected. Worst case? We convince the Romulans of the threat to both our people. And we fight everybody. They may not believe it. They think everyone's as devious as they are. Then we fight our way out of the neutral zone. Either way, we destroy the doomsday weapon. Mr. Tuvok? The Hazard team will split into two groups. Ensign Murphy will shuttle her team to the far side of the Romulan stronghold. Her assault will divert attention from Lieutenant Monroe's team as they transport near the entrance to the Master Control facility. We expect heavy resistance from the renegade Romulan forces. We have modified your tricorders to allow you to call down orbital strikes from the Enterprise. Whoa, orbital Target strikes. an area, and the Enterprise will bombard it with phaser fire and quantum torpedoes. Wow, I like Use that. Use these strikes sparingly, as our torpedo supply is limited. I like this. Just uh, in Star Trek Online, they have if a this mission orbital fails, strike. The Romulans will have ability. a first strike weapon that can tip the balance of power in the Alpha Quadrant. Good luck. I guess this is the precursor to that. This came first. This came before Star Trek Online. All right, we got some stuff to talk about before we continue our mission here, obviously. This uh, next mission we're about to go into is going to be for the next video because this one has been very long. So once we beam down here, I'll stop the video. Ooh, lava. Monroe to Enterprise, we are proceeding to the mission objective. Understood, Lieutenant. Telsia to Monroe. During our attack, we sustained heavy damage to our port nacelles from the anti-spacecraft batteries. Our power levels are fluctuating. Sydney feels she can compensate, but we don't know for how long. You've done all you can, Telsia. Get your team back to the Enterprise. Monroe out. Oh, they're... I'm oh, they, they... Whoa. Looks bad. We need to get you out of here. Enterprise, evacuate Chell. They will pay. Even lim more limited now. Wow, that's a that's a hectic start, isn't it? Okay, well, obviously, I'm not going to continue right now. We're going to continue in the next video. Um, so let me quickly go over the last bit here we just did. Let me just go ahead and save, and then we'll talk about what we just did. And then uh, I will end this video. So, yeah, um, first of all, a great 
start of this uh, in the mission in this video on the Klingon base, we had to chase down Omog, take out lots of Klingons along the way, and boy did they like to get close up and do melee. Um, then the twists turn and the turn twists and uh, Romulans are involved and we have to go now to the neutral zone and uh, you know infiltrate a Romulan base what a thing change our looks of our faces and uh, get down to the Romulan base it's basically sneak our way through get data which ended up being false data and then we had that showdown and that was difficult uh, because she cloaked a lot and but I love the secondary on the uh, Romulan weapon where you could like charge it up and then let a big old neutron blast go that was pretty awesome uh, I enjoyed that I didn't know it had that function till the very end till I tried it uh, but that was very cool um, I want her cloaking device also that was kind of cool uh, but that was basically a just you know try to take her down and she's gonna pop in and out kind of thing which is a bit annoying but I get it and then I like the idea of also having to shut off the alarms or they called in more people throughout the whole thing uh, and then the bio scans of especially at the beginning those the those uh, searchlight ones those were hard to evade I thought they moved back and forth but they actually moved back and forth and in a circle <laughs> so it was a little hard to avoid them uh, that was interesting and oh before that that Klingon in whatever contraption he was in, that was a pretty hard level. He kept throwing multiple uh, traps at us, which was difficult. Um, but anyway, got through all that. And, uh, and then, of course, interrogating Omag was fun as well. And then we basically learned the whole deal here. The Romulans are behind this. Um, we now know that it was the Idril created the Exomorphs. Exomorphs basically wiped out 95% of the Idril. The, the leftover Idril, the uh, Atrexians came in and ki ki killed the Exomorphs and then basically enslaved or oppressed the Idril. So that's an, that's interesting how that all storyline worked. But now we know that there's this Arachophobia or Araka, whatever they said, this like queen Exomorph who is like fully intelligent. I bet you a million dollars that's going to be the boss fight to fight this intelligent Exomorph that's going to be very difficult I, and i believe it's probably going to come up in this level we're about to play because we're going into the master controls facility and the, the whole idea is to go in here and then take it out and i bet we're going to have to fight romulans i bet we're going to fight exomorphs and then of course the big boss and it's probably not going to be too easy now all that aside mission stuff we got another opportunity to decide if we wanted to talk to clea or telsia and I didn't think that would come up again, but it did. So you basically can have a choice in the game who you want Monroe to be with. Do you want him and to fall in love and be with Clea or Telsia, right? That's where we're headed, right? Fall in love type of thing. I chose Telsia. That was what I chose. I think that was the right choice both times. And uh, it makes sense, especially with Gonzalez de it dead, who's been there with us now for a while, um, made sense to go to Telsia. And uh, so I'm looking for, we got a big hug from her. Uh, and I made a joke about it, but I mean, yes, first comes a hug and then a kiss, right? We're gonna get together, is that the deal? I mean, there's no more Star Trek Elite Force games after this, so. <laughs> I'm interested to see how this ends with them. Um, so yeah, uh, looking forward to that. And I'm guessing that the next video, the next one will be the last mission because we're at the master control facility now. So that'll probably be the, the end mission. But um, this has been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it, but we got a little more to go. So uh, thank you all for watching. If you like what you see here, consider subscribing and giving the video a like. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.